Black television showrunners and creators have been fighting for black fathers to be accurately portrayed on screen since the very first black family sitcom. Esther Rowe, who played Florida Evans on Good Times, initially declined to play a single mother and urged producer Norman Lear to hire a father figure for the family. Black fathers on screen continue with Cliff Huxtable, Uncle Phil, and Carl Winslow. Now, Flex Alexander continued that tradition, bringing Flex Washington to the small screen, displaying his relationship as a single father to everyone watching. We remember Flex for his unique style of parenting while providing plenty of laughs as a responsible father figure who had his fair share of women around but didn't want his teenager daughter to grow up too fast. This was a message parents could get behind, which is why Flex Alexander will always be unforgotten. Flex Alexander was born Mark Alexander Knox in the Bronx, New York but was raised in Harlem. Alexander got his start in the industry as a street dancer in his teenage years. His acrobatic skills are what earned him the nickname Flex among his peers. In his early life, Flex was surrounded by gangs and drugs and actually attempted to join that lifestyle after seeing so many of his friends making money. Alexander soon realized that he didn't have the heart to sell drugs and instead focused on his natural talent of entertaining and dancing. Flex first rose up in the nightclubs then eventually got his big breaks as a backup dancer and choreographer for salt and pepper dj spinderella was the first one to call flex and offer him the opportunity of going on tour with the group alexander's first time on stage as a stand-up comedian was the result of a dare coming from one of his friends on amateur night at the uptown comedy corner in new york alexander leaned on his impression for his first outing which included edith bunker bullwinkle selling crack and jesse jackson flex decided to go with impressions due to his lack of knowledge about how to structure a comedy set. His impressions were a hit with the crowd and he was soon bit by the stand-up comedy bug. Alexander would juggle his duties as a dancer with salt and pepper and stand-up comedy as he started to get booked for more comedy shows around the city. Salt and Pepper were very supportive and consistently went to go see him perform. Flex soon built a reputation as one of the hottest young comedians in the city. Salt and Pepper took notice of his dedication to comedy and eventually invited him to open up on their show. Flex would open shows doing 30 minutes of comedy, then go backstage to change and come back out as a dancer. Alexander got his start in acting by appearing on Showtime at the Apollo, then later as a cast member on Uptown Comedy Club in 1992. Now that following year, Alexander's big acting break would come when he was cast in the ABC sitcom Where I Live. In the series, Alexander starred opposite of Dougie Doug as his best friend. The series is based on Doug's own childhood. The show initially had low ratings and only 11 out of 13 episodes aired for the first season. Fans had supported the series and even received support from Bill Cosby, who eventually became a consultant on the second season. However, even a public backing from Bill Cosby wasn't enough to save the show as it was canceled after the third episode of season two, leaving seven total episodes unaired. Now, Alexander would continue acting, this time mostly in guest roles throughout the mid 90s. Alexander appeared in episodes of Sister Sister, New York Undercover, and The Cosby Mysteries, and Moesha. Alexander's debut film role was 1992's Juice, where he played Flex, the contest auditioner. Alexander was originally up for the character Q, which eventually went to Omar Epps. Q was the lead role in the film. After finally casting Epps as the lead, the producers liked Flex so much, they created the scene he appeared in specifically for him. In 1995, Alexander made his debut on Def Comedy Jam. It wasn't long before he found himself co-starring in another sitcom, this time UPN's Homeboys in Outer Space, alongside Daryl and Bell. The show followed two astronauts played by Alexander and Bell, who flew around the universe in their spaceship called the Space Hoopty. The sitcom hit airways in August of 1996 and was met with terrible reviews and low ratings. The series was canceled after its first season and 21 episodes. Now, the following TV season, Alexander was casting yet another series, this time a drama, ABC's Total Security. Only six of the original 13 episodes aired on television, as it was quickly canceled. Alexander continued to act in several TV movies and guest star on sitcoms like The Parkers. He was also cast as Darnell Wilkes, Maya's husband, in the first season of Girlfriends. Alexander played Darnell for five episodes before having to give up the role to Khalil Kane beginning in the show's second season due to Alexander leaving for his own show. Alexander's fourth TV show, his third sitcom, would be The Charm as he began to develop the show one-on-one. -on -one. 
One-on-one -on -one follows Flex Alexander as Flex Washington, a former NBA player turned sportscaster who becomes a full-time father after his ex-wife decides to accept a job out of the country. While on the Funny Stories podcast, Alexander revealed that he actually created the show. This piece of information was surprising because when you look at the credits for One-on-One, -on -one, Unita T. Moon is credited as the creator of the series. Boone was a television writer and producer who came from sitcoms like The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, Rock, Living Single, The Parenthood, The Hughleys, and My Wife and Kids, before One on One. Alexander said he brought in the showrunner, Unita, after he attempted to bring the show to ABC, then later Fox. Alexander explained that he didn't get credit because he didn't register the idea properly with the Writers Guild of America, which is a labor union that represents film and television writers. Alexander told the audience how the show came to be. According to him, one of his friends from Harlem is a single dad. Around that same time, Alexander saw a commercial featuring LL Cool J where he tried doing his daughter's hair. Flex immediately realized that this was a show. My intention was to always show a single black father handling his business because we got the knock of being deadbeat dads and I said I want to change that narrative. Now what we did wasn't original because there's a piece of Cosby, there's a piece of my two dads, it's a piece of all that in essence. Alexander remembered the first time he saw Kyla Pratt, which was in a Nike commercial, where she acted alongside Lisa Leslie. Alexander was so impressed with how sharp she was and revealed he later saw her again in Love and Basketball and the Dr. Doolittle films. When they met with Kyla for the role of Brianna, Flex's daughter, she immediately got the part. One on One aired between 2001 and 2006 and lasted five seasons with over 100 episodes. The show was so successful, a spinoff series titled Cuts, which focused on Flex's younger brother, played by Marcus Houston, was ordered by UPN, but canceled after two seasons. Alexander reprised his role as Flex Washington for just one episode. Now, after One on One ended its fourth season, UPN decided that the show would focus on Brianna and her friends in college, as opposed to the father-daughter relationship that was the center of the show for the four years. It was announced that Flex would not be a part of the main cast in the fifth season, as well as Flex's on-screen friend, Dwayne, played by Kelly Perrine, and Brianna's friend, Spirit, played by Cicely. Out of the five main characters, three would be removed and replaced by four new characters, one of whom included Ray J. Fans didn't take too kindly to the show attempting to cater to a completely new demographic and responded by not watching. Ratings for the fifth season were considerably lower than the first four, which led to the cancellation of 101 in May of 2006. Before the fourth season of 101 began, Alexander portrayed Michael Jackson in the television film Man in the Mirror, The Michael Jackson Story. Alexander said that at the time he felt fine, but since the rise of social media, he joked that he started wondering what was he thinking. Alexander met with the director and left the meeting thinking there's no way he's doing the film. Two days later, he got a call and was informed that he got the part without auditioning or reading for the role. Alexander revealed he was paid good money for it, which is why he accepted. Since the release of the film, it has been critically panned from both fans and critics, with many saying the work represented Michael Jackson in an unflattering light. The movie has become a source of entertainment on social media, with many mocking how bad it was. Despite what people thought, Alexander was nominated for an NAACP Image Award for Outstanding Actor in a Television Movie, Miniseries, or Dramatic Special in 2005. Now, as far as his personal life, Alexander has been married to singer Shanice Wilson since 2000. The two met in the 1990s when he moved into her building. Flex didn't know her personally at the time, but knew of her. The two struck up a friendship living in the same building, which eventually led to a marriage and two children together. In April 2021, Alexander was a guest on the Hip Hop Uncensored podcast. During the interview, Flex was asked about his financial troubles and how he was able to recover. If you remember, it had been reported that Alexander and his wife had been evicted from their home in Los Angeles back in 2010. My show had finished and the money had stopped, but the expenses stayed there. Our mortgage was $4,000 to $5,000 a month. We had cars, credit card bills. We refinanced our mortgage to pull money out to keep pushing along. Flex explained that most people thought this was due to financial irresponsibility. He immediately cleared up that wasn't the case. Instead, he clarified that he was investing in several homes at the wrong time. It was at the wrong time because anybody who wanted a loan could get a loan, and they were setting us up to fail. So we had a bunch of property in Vegas. It was going good at first. And then bottom hit, and we kept trying to hold it. 
So we were dipping in savings, trying to hold this because when those people leave your property, you still got to pay. When asked what got him in that position, Alexander said, by the time I started to make money, I was already set in my ways. I saw my mother and grandmother work check to check, and I thought that's how you lived. I'm not blaming them, but I thought if I work for it, I can get what I want. I was making $25,000 a week, but I wasn't thinking about taxes. I was spending it like it was $25,000, but it was really more like $17,500. Flex continued on by saying that he sent a bunch of paperwork to them that they claimed they never got. As a result, the house was sold unbeknownst to Flex and his wife. He found out on his way to an audition when his wife called and told them that they had 10 minutes to leave their home. Moving in with their extended family helped get things back on track. This incident was detailed on their reality television series, Flex and Shanice, which followed the ins and outs of their relationship. Shanice had always wanted to do reality TV, but Flex was hesitant because he thought Hollywood would never take an actor who did reality television seriously. When the show was pitched, it was accepted by the Oprah Winfrey Network, where it ran for three seasons between 2014 and 2016. Now, both Flex and Shanice have been approached by many fans who thought their story was inspiring and relatable. In 2017, Alexander returned to television by hosting Lord Have Mercy, a show that highlights viral videos. The series lasted 10 episodes. Now, lately, Alexander has continued acting, most recently appearing in a few episodes of Mixed Dish throughout 2020 and 2021. Alexander's most recent role was guest starring in a 2021 episode of Keenan. As many sitcoms from the past have gotten a second life on streaming services, there has been talks of bringing several of these shows back. A reboot of One on One has been rumored, and it does appear to be something that the original cast is interested in. However, there haven't been many developments since Flex sent out the initial post in February 2018. If we never see Flex Alexander reprise his role as Flex Washington, at least we have the memories of yet another responsible, present, and funny black sitcom father, which is why Flex Alexander will always remain unforgotten.